What up, my headphone homies? It is Jason here from Custom Cans, and uh, this week I've been revisiting the DT770 after doing the pad rolling video a week or so ago. Uh, I thought, oh, maybe these have got a bit more to give, so I've been trying out a few different mods on these. Been having a bit of a play with the different models, uh, developing a new mod for them, which uh, I don't know, may have gone too far. It's kind of really flattened them off, getting rid of the bare peak, that kind of thing. Um, but have I gone too far? Have I ruined the DT770-ness of them? I don't know. I'm still still tweaking. But, yeah, one mod that has been kind of... Like, I know is stupid. I know it's a, a stupid idea, but it's bugging me, and I really want to find out. Because ever since I saw the HD800, a uh, well-respected headphone, they, they have a ring driver, which is like a ring, a donut-shaped diaphragm rather than a solid ring. And I've often wondered what would happen if you took a a normal headphone driver and cut the, the centre section out and then because uh, would that give you better presentation like it does on the HD800? Now I know the HD800 ring driver is very different, it's supported differently, it's got a much bigger voice coil and it's in a different place so it's not going to be like that. I'm just interested to know what happens What happens if you cut that out. What, what, what happens? <laughs> <laughs> so Theoretically, it's going to make the driver lighter so it can move a little bit faster. Also, you've got restriction. The air in that centre section has got to move in and out of these tiny little holes in the back there. So, uh, so the driver can move faster, but it, it'll have a it'll have less surface area, and it'll be I don't know, might be the wrong shape. Now I know uh, I've done it myself, where I've taken the dust cap off a off a normal speaker and maybe fitted a phase correction plug or something like that, but I've never done it on a headphone driver. So, I know it's a stupid idea, and basically I'm going to just, to find out how stupid this idea is, it's going to cost me £100. So, uh, yeah, so that's why I haven't done it. But this morning, while I was thinking about it, you know, I've been working on the DT770s, I've been looking at the DT770 driver quite a lot, but then, uh, as I was making my breakfast this morning, I noticed when my toast came out, it looked like, it, from the right angle, looks like it's kind of got the spirit of Crinicle saying that this is a brilliant idea. So, uh, who would argue with mystical toast? Let's throw a hundred quid at this problem and find out the answer to this question. Now then, what I have here is an old knackered driver. As you can see, it's the old style one with the tabs on there. Uh, but it'll be right for just kind of practicing and figuring out my technique. Now then, uh, I think, obviously, it'd be super simple just to use a scalpel and just cut out the center. But I want to give it the best chance of working possible, and I don't think that that's going to be accurate enough. And when it tugs on it, it might pull the voice coil out of alignment, that kind of thing. So I think we're going to have to get advanced on this, <laughs> this kind of thing, and leave it up to machines. So I'm thinking some scrap acrylic. I cut a hole in it about the right size to so take one of those uh, and that will act as a jig which will hold it in the right place in the laser cutter. Then a laser around the centre there thus cutting it away and hopefully not causing the whole thing to combust or melt or anything like that. That's the plan but I have at least two of these to practice on so I can get the settings right and hopefully not melt everything and then we'll give it a go. This, this is a stupid idea but I I'm interested to find out. What about you? Do you what, what do you reckon? Stick your things in the comments. How is it going to affect the graph? I think... I, I, whew, I don't know, because I think you're going to lose a bit of base because of the lesser surface area. But then it's going to be less damped, which is going to make it more bassy. So, whew, who knows? Let's, uh, let's do this thing. <laughs> potentially ruined driver is back in now. Let's uh, stick it on the thing and uh, see what has happened. So, uh, this was the original frequency response and this is it after I cut a big hole in it. As you can see, uh, it's ruined. So, <laughs> so now I know. It's been bugging me for ages. I'm thinking, oh, maybe you could just cut a hole in the middle of the driver and it would be super awesome. 
but uh, I know that that is not the case. So yeah, as I thought, the bass, well, the whole thing is much quieter, but the bass in particular has dropped off the trebles all, all over the shop. Um, distortion, interestingly. So that's your stock distortion. You can see you've got a big peak there around sort of 5K. And then with the ring, what's it? Ooh, no distortion in the high end, but tons of it in the mid range. <laughs> um, and speaking of distortion, uh, what I thought might be interesting is uh, if I cranked up the volume to make them the same, so kind of normalized it. So there's the original driver and the ring driver at the same SPL. And you can see the graph looks a little bit better when it's, uh, when it's louder. But it was massively overdriving the driver. I suspect it hasn't got as much support without the center in there. Because if we look at the distortion on this, uh, ba boom! It's almost entirely distortion up until 800 hertz compared to the stock. So, like, distortion is off the charts. And this is a, a good example of how these graphs can uh, deceive you a little bit. Because there, it's like, oh, yeah, it's a bit. You know, you've, you've lost some in the treble. If you were to actually to listen to that, it would sound <laughs> like someone just farting in your ear as it uh, as it distorts like crazy. So there we there we go. Uh, now I know. I did, I'm glad I didn't do both drivers. I only busted one driver, and uh, yes, very glad I did that. I, was, I thought if it sounded all right, we'd do both, and I'd give those headphones away. But I've basically ruined those. So uh, this is a terrible idea. A very bad mod. Don't do it. But I know now. It won't bug me anymore, I'll know. If anyone asks, like, oh, could you just cut the middle out and make it a ring driver? I'll say, no, no, you can't. It'll make it terrible. And in case you're wondering what my recipe for uh, Critical Toast is, it's a bit of Photoshop and Illustrator and K40 Whisperer and a 40 watt CO2 laser, basically. Just uh, rust it and engraved me some bread. So, uh, and it... It's okay. Ooh, that's good, actually. Yes, lasered toast. It's the future. Oh, it's got a kind of melted plastic aftertaste. Oh. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> see you guys again. Don't laser freaking drivers, okay? Idiots. <laughs>